Let's fetch the data from the database. I mean select them and display on our HTML forum. Let's use this previous coding. You can get this video tutorial on technotip.com. It's about inserting the record into the database using PHP and MySQL. You can search it on our blog technotip.com. You will get the video plus some very valuable notes there. So continuing the tutorial, I'll show you how to select the records inside our database and list it on our HTML form. So select star from apple. Apple is the name of our table and it has some set of data. It has two attributes id and software. id and name. We will list them. Star means every field or else we can give select id from apple which only gets us list of ids. Select name gives only list of names. I would like to write it like this mysql underscore query and pass the SQL statements directly to it. Now I will list the output below my HTML form. Let me give a list of companies. S simple heading to make it understandable to the users. Dollar RES will have it's an array element which using which we need to fetch the results. There is a standard PHP function mysql underscore fetch underscore array. So pass dollar res to it. What while does is it loops through until the records are found inside the database. Once it the once it's the end of records the loop simply exits. Now echo dollar row of zero and dollar row of one. Dollar row of zero, the first row, which is ID. Dollar row of one means the second row, which is name in our case. So let's save it and see the output in our HTML browser. Okay, Google, Apple, Microsoft, Oracle, and Technotip. These are the data present in our database. There is an error. We'll fix it now. It's saying undefined index name. It's expecting a value for this dollar underscore post. Let's use the function is set. Let that execute only if it has been set, or else it let it not execute. So this solves our problem. This is it. This is how we fetch the data from our database and list it in head on the browser in HTML form. Please also write ID and name. This would make easy for remembering fields instead of 0, 1, 2, 3 and all. You don't remember the order. If you write directly the database field names, it would be more easy to remember and code. Okay, please look for other videos on technotip.com because you will also get valuable notes there. Much more than what you learn in this video because we can't explain everything at one go. So we have text format notes there. So please visit technotip.com and search for this video and notes. Thanks for watching. Like it on YouTube by the way. Thank you.